Um, oh, now it's oh, recording. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I don't have my peacock feather. Not actually, what aisle are your peacock feathers in? Uh, I'm at the Home Depot. They probably have peacock feathers, but we got a two for one with Jackson. Yeah. And uh, young Jackson, I let you down today. I, uh, I, 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 I. I, I, we rescheduled so many times and I just couldn't keep track and I, I forgot our our date today and I'm sorry and I'd like to sing you a song. I would love I, I, I accept your apology Peter and I'd love to hear this beautiful song. Okay. I'm sorry young Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to forget our podcast. I'm in Home Depot acting like an ass. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I mean, young Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot our podcast. There is no excuses to make. So I've bought you this plant that's not fake. Okay. What wow. else would you like? What else would you like? Would you like some seeds, Jackson? Maybe you'd like Ooh. to plant yourself a young Jackson garden. Right? Oh, young Jackson could plant a young garden. Yeah, <clears throat> that's right. That's yeah, beautiful, Peter. Very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for your serenade. Yeah, look at these. Look at this one. Whoa, it's got dots. That's a pretty one, eh? It's a pretty polka dot. Yeah, I bet there's something in here that we could mix into a potion and uh, that make some med plant medicine with. You think? <laughs> Think there's anything psychedelic in the Home Depot? This orange bet, is pretty. Yeah. I bet you if you mix some chemicals with some of the plants, you could probably get it going. Yeah, we've got our we've got our purging bucket right here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Got that. Maybe yeah. I see you. There's the light bulb sign behind you. Maybe there's like some crazy chemicals in the light bulbs. Maybe yeah. we can like mix mix a, a botanical potion with that sure. will turn us make us glowing. Yeah, we could always smoke something out of the light bulb, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to go head over to the Home Depot podcast studio. Do they have that? Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's in seasonal. Seasonal, you see? Wow. So you're, and there's the scuzzabot right over here. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that little scuzzabot. That's scuzzabot. <laughs> Breath of fire. Yeah. I was doing a little bit of Kapalabhati in that one, a little breath of fire. You know, tip for the home of this uh, season, this barbecue season, folks, if your uh, your barbecue won't start, try doing a little breath of fire. Get that going, see? We're in the, yeah. Now we're in the gazebo. Podcast Ooh. gazebo. Oh. You know, you, yeah. get these, you get these YouTubers spending money on lights and little shelves with fancy stuff in the background and, you know, I mean, you got your laundry hamper, so I'm I'm not talking about you, but you know these pod, these YouTuber guys, they think they're so fancy. All you got to do is come to the Home Depot, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So got, what's going on? What's going on? Check yeah. it out. I got a haircut. I, I did. Chopped off, I chopped I did. off the top. Yeah. So. You're pulling your hair out. You were so frustrated at me forgetting our our date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take the little weed whacker on top. Well, yeah. can see, I can smile again. I couldn't smile last week. So that's that's pretty oh, cool. Right. So every week you've done something to your face. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's it gonna be next time? Are you gonna grow one of a, like a mark mustache? Oh man, get like some of the wax out. Yeah. That would be something. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. you had a beard. You had a beard a while ago at the re at the retreat. Yeah, I had the beard. Yeah. Now I'm. I had the beard and the long hair. Now, now, and then I. Oh boy, maybe, maybe I can put the pictures the thumbnail. But I used. I went before I shaved the beard. I went this hair and the beard, and then I looked like a Hutterite. <laughs> that was Hutterite. pretty funny. Yeah. What? What is that? What is a Hutterite? So a hutterite are like the people who who have a very big christian value and they live on a colony together do they have lots of wives no that's mormons oh okay so the hutterites they're primarily german okay. and they all live together in a colony and they both they all practice Christ like a form of christianity whether through catholic 
like Catholicism or 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 a different religion. But yeah. fun fact: when I was when I was mu even younger, Jackson, I used yeah. to play video games, and one of my best friends was my like one of my best friend's cousins. I used to play video games with all the time, and he lived on a Hutterite colony. Did they let him play video games? They That's did. not very Christian. Well, he Jesus, snuck, he Jesus. snuck a laptop in, and he played uh, video games with me between between his German lessons and joysticks for Jesus, eh? I guess so. Yeah, check the how. I, what do you think of this look on the Yellow Throne here? Shall I? Shall I do yeah. it? You could do it. Might get in trouble. Might get in trouble. <laughs> just don't well, do it. Just don't allow, allow Guru Devon on the the Yellow. Yeah, I actually had a not Guru Devon morning this morning. Ooh. Yeah, I, uh, do you want to talk about it? Okay, but uh, I I didn't mean to gloss over the Hutterites there. Big ups to them. Big yes. ups to all the uh, the religious people living in community. I don't care what weird stuff you do. Uh, just don't hate other people. And uh, if you need a, I mean, who couldn't use another wife or two? And if the Hutter Hutterites are living in community, I think community is the most Christian thing, the most spiritual thing. You know, when I when I see other uh, nationalities, ethnicities uh, in in Canada, and they are staying together in community, uh, I really admire that. You know, the the East Indian communities, the Asian communities, they really uh, they they keep their culture in, in, intact and they they practice their faith together. And I think that's something that um, I feel that uh, I've lost. My culture's lost. So. So, but boy, is there a lot of different kinds of Christians, hey? Oh, yeah. There's so many. Yeah. yeah and I, I don't know if they can all, any of them can agree <laughs> on anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eddie, that's enough. That's enough of that. But, um, man, there's a lot of orange in here. But Guru Devon, um, uh, I, I, I've been getting up every morning and listening to devotional music. So every every morning I also listen to a different faith of devotional spiritual uh, music and uh, watch the sunrise. And I actually uh, I found a new excuse to drink coffee, thanks to Andrew Huberman, Doctor Andrew Huberman. He says if you drink a, a cup of coffee an hour before your ice bath, it helps deliver all the dopamine throughout the day. Because we create a lot of extra dopamine, right? When we um, have our cold bath. Mm -hmm. But he says not all of it is delivered to the brain or wherever it goes. The the dope dealers or the the, the, the junkies. <laughs> Pardon <laughs> me. But um, yeah, anyway. So I get up, I have my coffee, listen to devotional music, watch the sunrise. And this morning it was Guru Devon uh, making a Guru De Devon's Greatest Hits, it's called. My, the, my new Spotify mix. And uh, mm. so it's uh, all the Guru Dev songs, and of course, uh, from what I understand, Guru Dev means the the one teacher. Um, but there's 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 always someone calling. Like there's that one guy, the cute looking guy with the nose and the nice hair, that calls himself Guru Dev. <laughs> <laughs> he's a popular he's a popular guru. Right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, uh, so anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, this morning was a really lovely uh, taste of some some Guru Dev songs. Hmm, very nice. Yeah, very what do nice. you? How do you start your day? So I was a bit After disrupted. Breath, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? I had to stop the breath because of my mouth for a while. That that was oh, one thing because I I could I couldn't like fully open my mouth. So mm. doing the the super ventilation or the breath of fire just wasn't possible. But you know what? Oh. I I resorted to I. Like I fell off my breath practice while my mouth was healing, just so I could let it heal. But there's well, you a still do nasal, like slow nasal breathing and breath holding, right? I could do that. I could slow yeah. it down and focus a little bit more on it. But I, I took the, but I didn't. But now I'm excited to get back into it. Oh yeah. But the way I start my morning <laughs> is, I, I do the breath when I can. Now that my face is healed. And then I wake and then I wake up and I eat my breakfast. Yeah. And then I, I eat my breakfast. I I go brush my teeth. I get ready. Really I usually boy. go to work. Usually, okay, it's either that variation where I go straight to work 
Or I go and as soon as I get up, I just get my clothes on and go to my buddy's place. And then we do an, an ice bath together. Oh, so yeah. Like he has a freezer yeah. that, that we'll just go into. And then, yeah. we'll, then we'll usually talk for like somewhere between half an hour to an hour. Then we'll go on the ice bath and then I'll start my day. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Great. So, yeah, that's great, man. Have yeah. you ever had one of these for breakfast? Oh, bug X out. Yeah, mm, I've like never had I, I've never had a cucaracha before. I like to start my day getting the bugs out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know? Some good old yeah. breath hold to to get the bugs out. Yeah, Japanese beetles. Hey, eh? what it is? Japanese beetles. You know, I knew that the Japanese people loved the beetles. They they're real big beetles fans. Yeah. What else we got here, Jackson? Um, you got the you got the spray tanks behind you. I got a, fl a fly there, a fly out, Ooh. fly out. Why don't we fly out to an another aisle? See what we can find. Ooh, yeah, the, the joys of Home Depot. So what so else? Are me, going oh, go on, yep. Peter. No, 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 no. You, I insist. So what else is going on in in your life, Peter? You talked a little about about your morning routine, a little bit about Guru Dev. What else is yeah. going on? Well, uh, oh. Uh, well, you remember that group call uh, <laughs> where I was uh, spazzing about the bed? Well, mm -hmm. I can tell that story, but uh, I'm just curious about your, because I just got myself a uh, uh, blinded by the lights here, Jackson. Look at this. Whoa. Starstruck. Whoa. Uh, I just got myself a, a used uh, meat locker, uh, freezer, a deep freezer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use deep freezer, and uh, I was. Uh, it's I think it's a thirty-three cubic feet. No, that's impossible. Thirty-three cubic somethings. Well, how big is yours? Is it the I, super big one, or do you can well, you crunch? You just crunch in it, or can you like right get right in it, submerge right in it? So it's not mine. I like it's my buddy's. Oh, it's but your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So his. You kind of, well, it depends on how much ice is in it, like about how cold it is. But usually mm -hmm. you kind of just put your feet in and you kind of like just hunker down. Like it's not a full yeah. set. It's just kind of like, That's right. it's kind of just yeah. like a, a squat. And if you, if you really try hard, you can get your face in the water. Yeah. It, he, the way he fills it is you can actually like fully head dunk. You can. Yeah. With his, with, with your body in there too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's that's big, great. It's big enough for that, but like yeah. not quite enough to fully sit down. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because I went over to this place and the guy goes, "Let me guess, you're you're gonna get in it, right?" <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So everyone's buying them up now for for ice baths. Yeah, but I I just moved into a new place and I blew, first thing I did was blow the breaker with my uh with my plugged the freezer in outside. They still don't know I have a freezer plugged in outside. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I love going to the beach, right? It's a way to connect with the spirit, the great spirit, the source, the ocean, you know. Yeah, but uh, I got to say, man, it's, it's so much more convenient to just walk out first thing in the morning and get the, get the, get the icing done. Um, you know, uh, but uh, I found that I can just barely get my head under. And I find, I think that that's really important because of, uh, do, have you found, learned much yet about the dive reflex or something that when the cold water hits your eyes, it creates some reaction inside your, uh, so mm -hmm. I know, like, I know what you're talking about, like the mammalian yeah. dive reflex. I don't know like, yeah. a lot about it, but from my personal experience, I know I can tell that there's a big difference between putting yeah. your face in versus putting your whole head in versus like not doing it. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it gets a little tricky though. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? Uh, all the, you want the aisle? No, no. I'm looking for bathroom lighting. So ba bathroom lighting. Bathroom lighting. Oh, okay. Well. Wow. I liked it. What's bathroom lighting? Uh, oh. These ones are nice up there. I mean, Ooh, those are fancy yeah. lights. Yeah, I like to start so, my. I like to start my morning with look, going in the bathroom and seeing that light. I think well, that's not what light. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a look at this one, Jackson. This one's a bit of like a 
little bit of a you know the marvel movie where the guy the mr manhattan guy is making that crazy time machine thingy on the other planet oh doctor strange well i don't know Th okay. that's kind of a doctor strange version eh yeah so I, I don't know yeah the new doctor strange movie sucked by the way but uh Anyhow, uh, back to the ice baths. It's uh, it's real tricky with these small ones because, you know, I crunch myself in there to get my head in, and then um, I worry that I might get stuck, right? Oh, yeah. So it's uh, I, I've been really mindful not to not to do that, get stuck in the, uh, yeah, a lot of. So. I have a question with your ice bath. Do do you like? Do you ever worry about? Like, see, so you probably will unplug Children it when you go in. in. Yes, I do. Yeah. Children falling in, yeah. But do you unplug it when you're in it? Yes, I do. It, and because, yeah. like, my thing is, because I'm, I'm kind of at the point now where I'm looking at getting a home ice bath, and I'm, I've thought of different wow. options. Like, I, I'm thinking of either getting a freezer or one of those big cattle, like cattle metal tubes. Yeah. That, like Jeff has. Or yeah, those things. A freezer is cheaper than those. Isn't that crazy? How much is a how much is, is a freezer? Like, is it like 150, 200? Let's go check the freezer aisle, shall we? Wow, this is beautiful. This no, is... no, no. We're we're talking used freezers, though, right? We yeah. could go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they have fridges and appliances at Home Depot, but uh, this well, this is the UFO aisle, the flying saucer aisle. But um, Ooh. I so I've got a good idea of the price range now for um. For, so it's basically starting at about 80 bucks for a real cheap apartment size one that you can't really get in. And then you go up to ones you can get in for about 100 to 200. Mine was 150, probably same size as your buddies. And then the really big ones are 200 to 300. Oh, yeah. For free for used uh, freezer. Yeah. But okay. I don't know how much you're spending in the summertime on power. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely unplug it though. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 you don't want to get that electrocute. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could be the new stressor though, hey? <laughs> Electric shock. We, we go to the next Breath Army retreat and it's like <laughs> he's got the battery cables out. <laughs> <laughs> non ordinary states, guys. <laughs> yeah. Do a do a head dunk and a little shock. Yeah. Now this this one's real Doctor Strange. Whoa! Yeah. You know what that yeah. reminds me of? Oh, that ha Tetra. have you ever have you ever heard of the Merkaba? Merkaba, what's that? A Merkaba, what it is is like you. It's like an energy field that's like around you. I believe it's like when you access oh. your light body, and it's able to uh -huh. be like the energy field that you're kind of in in like in when you're in it. Mm. It's. That's I was just, I was recently told about it this last week when I was talking to a buddy and he explained it to me. That's, that's beautiful, man. Ah, mm. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, Peter, I think, I think it's now, ooh, lighting, cool lighting thing. I have a good question for you. So, yeah. with, when you access Scuzzabot, Dr. Scuzzone, Scuzzoni, mm. When you're and you're in your artist mode, what's a way that you like to go about your creative process? Well, it's different every time, of course. Um, it'll kind of just hijack my whole day and I will disregard all responsibilities and I will just reach to whatever is in my immediate surroundings. And to execute my idea. Oftentimes it's the, what is in my immediate surrounding that uh, inspires the art. And I look at something, I look at this extension cord and I think I'm going to make a dream catcher with this. I don't care. I don't care what it costs. I don't care that I'm in the Home Depot. I'm going to make this scuzzon. And then next thing you know, I've got a, uh, a blue electrical dream catcher I'm culturally appropriating. I'm, I'm, I haven't paid for it. You know, I'm defying all kinds of laws of nature just to make my art because it is nature. So 
you know, let's see. Uh, yesterday, I was walking down the street in the morning, and I found a bag. Now, in this bag was a bunch of fabric scraps, you see? And, you know, I've got homework to do. I've got my daughter to, to take care of do homeschool with i've got my partner i'm moving in with and the home i gotta move beds and uh i see this bag and it's full of beautiful colors of blue every shade of blue you know like who who leaves a uh it was a free pile but how have someone collected that many pieces of blue fabric i have no idea so i picked it up i took it home i got all the fabrics out and i spread them on the ground and I was just so inspired. And I thought, darn it all, I'm going to have to disregard the things I need to do today in order to make something. I don't know what. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? So that's, that's how the muse works with, with me. It's like, well, when, uh, when Scazzoni calls, and Scazzabot is kind of like another name for the muse, right? Mm -hmm. So that creative spirit that it doesn't care what I got planned for the day. <laughs> it doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't care if I, if I have any money, what's this more electrical cords, electrical cords everywhere. Here. Whoa. So, and a lamppost, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like that in your bedroom. eh? <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty cool. If I saw someone with a lamppost in the room, I think I, I think I would look at them and I, I just go like, I think they get it a little bit more than than I than I do. I'd be like, really, yeah. Well, I've got a lamppost right beside my cold bath. Oh, my 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 freezer out on the deck. There's an old vintage lamppost. So, I'll oh. uh, I'll do some funny little bit video updates, some vlogs. Do people say vlogs anymore? I don't know. Chandelier. Nice chandelier. Have... Saying vlog is, is about as old as a chandelier. Oh, one hundred and sixty-nine dollars for that. Oh, wow, yeah. it's plastic. Huh. It's plastic. Get um... out of here! You have the nerve! You have the nerve! And look at this. This thing is is just made of string, and it's the same price. <laughs> it's not. You give it. You wonder why everyone's losing their flipping mind. You got prices like this. No logic. I don't know, Jackson. What kind of world we're living in. But uh, that's not the point, is it? It doesn't matter what kind of world we're living in. Matter what kind of, what kind of, what kind of temple we're living in inside ourselves. Is it, uh, Am I right? Yeah. No matter what's yeah. going on on the outside, we got, we yeah. can, it depends how we perceive it and how we want to go about our life. From what our if what our teacher is saying is true, we are creating this this world, aren't we? Yes, we are. Home Depot, Home Depot, this aisle of shitty lamps, it's all my fault. Yeah. And those electrical cords. Yeah. Well, those are those are practical, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I I actually bought a whole bunch of LED lights, but uh that's another story. So uh yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You got your homework all done? I got my presentation done on Sunday. Yeah. I was really... Your, your, your cold bathing one? Oh, no, not that one. The one before that. I was oh. going to get it done before, but I, I never did. So I'm yeah. still waiting on the cold bathing one. I actually... Yeah. I'll be doing... Ian and I will be doing a, like a, a miniature cold yeah. plunge workshop on Saturday. Yeah, the Hawks the, man. Yeah, we'll be using the tents in the in the blow up ice baths. We'll be going to a gym and we'll set everything oh, shit. up. You're getting the bio shack. Yeah, this is a bio shack sanctioned event. We're representing. Oh man, bio, bio shack is huge, well, isn't it? It's growing. Yeah. The ants yeah. construction two by two. And that's cool, man. Four. So that's good. Um, the presentation went pretty well. It, one of the things that was that was cool is. So I presented it to, I had three people lined up, but then one had to cancel last minute. Yeah. Yeah. They're slippery. These people, they all, they always, they sound, they get all excited at first and then off they go, yeah. you know, they don't yeah. know we're serious about this. They don't know this is our life's work. They yeah. don't know we're giving up everything for it. 
You know? Yeah. For all they think, they think, well, we're breathing the other two breaths, so we can't. So why are we learning to breathe these? You know what I say we do, young Jackson? What do we do? So the next, per the next person that signs up for our, one of our workshops and doesn't show up, we take off a few fingers. <laughs> your toes. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Do these take off fingers and toes? Are you hoping for them too? I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 so we're just having a good chat here on I Zoom. I mean, I feel like you'd need them bigger. Yeah, that one would probably get a good toenail. Oh, it's yeah. kind of got a toenail clipper style. But I don't think yeah. you get your bone very well with it. Oh, uh, okay. garden loafers are surprisingly good at cutting through thick wire, so you oh. know that would work if that's what you're after. But okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Do you need a hand at all? No, I'm okay. Well, I had to chop off maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cute, eh? Mm -hmm. You know what, Peter? Yeah. As we're cutting off the fingers, we could tell people to see if they can stay in gear one. We can see how long you can stay. Yeah, in yeah, the breath gears. Yeah, the breath gears. Tell folks about the breath gears, Jackson. So there's five breath gears by Dr. Peter yeah. Litchfield. Um, yeah. Made these. And basically, no matter how you're breathing at any moment, your breath is classified under one of the breath gears. Mm -hmm. And and breath gear one is where you really want to be, and breath gear five is where you do, is the furthest away of where you want to be. Mm. So so gear one is in regulation where you're breathing calmly and not forcefully in and out through the nose. So just letting it okay. air come in and out just naturally and just letting it be non forced. Okay. And that's and that's when your nervous system feels the most rested. Okay. And then when you start to bring in more sensation or your body starts to bring in more stress. You go to gear two, which means you're breathing forcefully into the nose and then calmly out. So oh, you... oh. Yeah. And then your airway starts to constrict too, and your body starts to get a little tingly, a little bit of anxiety might come on. Mm -hmm. Then you go into breath three, and then in breath three, that's when the fight or flight response starts to kick in. And that's where you start breathing forcefully in and out through the nose. <laughs> Do that for about a minute. And notice how your body changes. It's pretty crazy. Mm. Mm. And then some people, they can't handle that. So they start going to number four. That's when they start breathing in forcefully and then out to the mouth. <gasps> I thought that was so. Is it one nose, one mouth? Ooh. Like into think... the nose. Uh, no, it's both. But oh, what's into five then? Five. Is in through the is in through the mouth, out through the mouth. But you just said that was four, though. Did I? I thought I said in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, okay. Okay, okay yeah, to clarify, to yeah, clarify. Yeah. So in four is in through the nose, out through yes, the mouth. Yes, four is in through the nose, out the mouth. Right. All right. Holy shit, that's bright. Good God. Yeah, that's what your body thinks when you start breathing this way. It starts to be like, what? What's going on? Why? Why is? Why am I stressed? Yeah. And then you go into number five, and then you start to get your body to the fight, fight, or freeze response to that hypo, hypo um, stimulation. Hyper. Hi well, hyper is when it goes too much, and then and then oh, when it, and then when it goes too low. Yeah, and then when freeze. it goes up, and then and then and then it dips, and then you go into hypo, and then you just. Like, <gasps> and then right. you see, and then you see that bus coming towards you, and then you go. Oh. And oh. Then you, and then, and then that's why you see people in the movies when they start get when the monster starts chasing them, they they go into gear five and they freeze. <laughs> that would be <laughs> awesome if you were the guy in the uh, in the movie theater going like, "Oh, check it out! He's in gear five. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I would I would love to be do do that in the movie theater with Peter Litchfield. I'd love to yeah. hear his response to that. Yeah, the Lich. Have you oh, ever right. seen Adventure Time? Oh, yeah. You know the Lich in Adventure Time? I don't know if I do. You might need to remember. Oh, okay. Well, the, the Lich is this. He's kind of a, a like a villain character, the Lich. Okay. Yeah, but I like to um, think of <laughs> <laughs> I, I always think of the Lich, the Lich when I have the time. Yeah, I've been uh, speaking of uh, really awesome doctors that our teacher has told us about. I was uh, 
when we were doing our assignment for the nervous system and trauma stuff, vagus nerve, mm-hmm. um, I was uh, looking, checking out some uh, Steve, Dr. Stephen Borges. Ooh. Did you check out any of his stuff? Doc? I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I'll go on YouTube and have a little looky there. And he's uh, the polyvagal theory guy. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I hate to chats with Gabor, Mate a lot. And um, lovely fellow. Always. I, I love how these famous doctors are, are famous in the field of study that we're in. But they, uh, they all they all do their you know, million view YouTube videos from these just humble little bedrooms with shitty paintings in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd think they'd be all like the like a, a cheesy basic YouTuber has more of a fancy studio than some of these <laughs> really big figures. And that says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, like just be real, do what you do. Don't worry about your fancy background. I mean, you come to the Home Depot, look at me yeah right but i don't have the i don't have the uh, the fame yet are are we gonna get famous off this jackson one day yeah, one, okay one, one day you know what peter one day we should go and we can record it in the home depot podcast setup yeah yeah well we will we'll go to the the gazebo seasonal aisle and we'll just sit down there and like in Kelowna. when yeah. i come home, we sit on the toilet jackson sit on the toilet <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little. Have a little. Look at me. I'm on a toilet. Ha ha. Dad. Dad. You, you know. You're gonna have. Yeah. Look, it's two seventy nine for a toilet. Wow. Two seventy nine. Two seventy nine for a toilet. Wow. Well, dare I say that's a. Uh, Shitty price. <laughs> you might as well piss your money away, eh, Jackson? <laughs> Speaking yeah. of pissing your money away, look at this. Let's go on. Wow. See that? Beautiful. Look at it again. It's art. Do you see the cosmos in there? Do you see the mycelium? Do you see the galactic space? Do you see? Oh, I saw a face. Everyone sees a face. Get out of here. Now, look at this. They got, uh, eh. you know what? I was flipping out, though, in Canadian Tire when I was in Calgary visiting Mark Mustache Mark. Yep. Um, they were selling paint. You know the boxes of wine? Okay, yeah. They were, yeah. They were, they were selling paint in like a the bag, the ba- like a box wine bag. It was just a bag. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is not huh. stupid it's that, just that seems not good to transport oh, but you know what Jackson it's going to save the planet uh, did it also have like the wine thing that like you like did you pour paint out of it like you pour <laughs> wine no but it came with two free wine glasses because you gotta be a drunk waste man Jeez. right you gotta be a drunk housewife having that rosé to be using that kind of paint you know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm going to do some home improvements. Good. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, that's fun, though. I, 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 I'm I, the kind of... Uh, I shouldn't have said housewife because that's not PC anymore to say that. But um, it's funny because the trades that I do, painting and gardening, those are both things that, you know, while the, usually the stereotypical heteronormative, uh, the husband's always, you know, building things. And the wife is like decorating and gardening. And so that's what I do. Right? Nice. Isn't that cute? Yeah. But I'm gonna get in here. Sweet. Let's see, let's hear the acoustics in there. Now you got the personal podcast studio. Go away, I'm doing a podcast in here. Oh shit. I gotta get on here. <clears throat> That's a nice space in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's hear the he's gone. Okay. Let's hear the acoustics. All right. How's that sound? Does that sound any different? It does actually. Okay, wicked, dude. This is it. This is it. I'm staying in here until I get kicked up. Yeah. Oh. So 
Um, this is like an old Superman phone booth. You don't see those anymore. Yeah. So what were we just talking about? We got on a little bit of a tangent talking about gardening and crafts. Oh, yeah. But we, but we, but we, we branched off the creativity, the creativity Uh, part. Speaking of branches, uh, I I like to think of the nervous system as a tree, you know? Mm. And so what's your favorite part about the nervous system? How do you like to think about the nervous system? I really like the Limbic Library. You do, eh? What's your favorite book? My favorite book? Do you like the Mm sci-fi section of the Limbic Library, or are you you more of a romance novel? Ooh, the romance novels are fun fun to tap into every once in a while. I think as of lately, I'm more on the adventure section. Yeah? Yeah. I I like tapping into that and then seeing what I can find within the Limbic Library see see which stories i find see see how they come up see how the mm-hmm. see how the the ventral vagal response has come through mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so, so yeah. yeah let's see what else i like about it um I, it was interesting getting to know that just consciously thinking about the brain activates the highest part of the limbic system in like this area of the brain and mm-hmm. how that can really get you out of whatever spiral you're in just mm-hmm. consciously thinking about the breath yes that's right yeah yeah i forget what that area is called but the, hippo- um, the hippocampus i don't know i don't remember yeah i could i could point to you if there is a cross section of a brain that was cut out i could point it to you but i don't remember right don't remember the name see this is the great thing about having a a, a breathwork facilitator training teacher that has been to university to study the brain it's like he thinks we're we're all brain surgery students. <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like I, I I had to ask him about that, and I was like, man, I'm I'm starting to lose it here because I feel like I have to, even if I talk about the nervous system, to other people in a lecture kind of style, doing workshops, I feel like I really need to know what I'm talking about mm-hmm. because the vagus nerve. What we've learned about that is we can pick up the vocal prosody and the facial affect. If someone doesn't really know what they're talking about, our vagus nerve will pick it up that their vagus nerve is not confident that they know what they're saying. So I I, I said to him, like, I feel like I got to learn about every part of the brain now and he's like no you don't have to be a doctor don't worry but that's the thing about me is i have a tough time knowing when to when to draw the line you know like Mm -hmm. i i I just i see all these these roads open up and i i just end up going down them and and losing track of what i was actually meant to talk about so well i feel i feel like also another thing too is it's a very visual part of what we're doing like it's it's basically taking a lot of the concepts and being like here's the visual for it and especially if you're a visual person you might think like oh i gotta explain it to people in a visual way yeah yeah absolutely yeah 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 i'm just gonna get in this one here sure let's yeah. see if the round the round brings different acoustics outback round shower whoa Jackson, can you hear me you're in space peter Whoa. I'm shooting it out my face. I'm shooting laser beams out my face. <laughs> Mouth breathing. Ah. <laughs> well, let's do some let's do some super ventilations. <sighs> All the in and let it go. It's beautiful. It's yep. amazing. You got the you got the visual cue of the of the fog. Yeah. Oh, look! I found the fucking. I found the I found the fridgy things. The freezer aisle. Oh, we wandered yeah. to the yeah. freezer aisle. Hello. Should we answer the phone? Oh boy. Where's the freezer, man? Do they only keep fridges here? I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. Damn me. No, 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 just fridges. Yeah. Just the fridges. Yeah. So you, so you did your, did you do your homework with the, with the cold plunge? Uh, Friday, I've got it scheduled. Oh, that's exciting. You have it with three people or more or less or? Uh, I got uh, three, three for sure. Nice. Three, I got three people for sure. And, um, then uh, a couple other slippery ones on the, you know, on the cold fence. So we're going to do it at the ocean because they're, they're like, ew, I don't want to get in your old dirty f f freezer water. It had meat in it. Right? Mm. They, they think like a freeze, an old freezer's got dirty meat juice in it. Mm. But I, I dumped a bottle of peroxide in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was hard to find. Everyone's buying up all the peroxide these days. Really? Yeah. Is there a blonde trend coming in, or what? What are people using peroxide for? Well, I just heard of a recent new use for peroxide, but this is one that like isn't very well known. What yeah. what what you can use it for is you can use it like instead of using mouthwash, what you can do oh. is is you can swish with it in your mouth, and it's really good for like to keep your mouth healthy with bacteria. Like to to kill the unnecessary stuff, and like apparently when you start it, your you mouth is open. your nose. You don't need to. <laughs> That's <laughs> for mouth breathers peroxide. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Just get that any, nitric any, oxide. And any if anyone's out there watching that uh, uses uh, mouthwash, that's a no no. 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 Big no. 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 Yes. Kills that nitric oxide synthase. Paranasal. Yep. yep. Do you also need to use non fluoride toothpaste too? Of course, man. Ever since that hippie told me it blocked my pineal gland. You know, they said this the hippie on the street came up to me raving mad and said, Stop using toothpaste. Yeah. So I stopped. Yeah, I use a little, uh, uh cinnamon and uh anise and uh clove i really love clove toothpaste mm. and uh, any of these natural kind of types out there i'll know that chewing a clove bud will kind of numb your gums a little bit and uh it's kind of an antiseptic uh, like a cleaner for your teeth yeah mm. i love cloves yeah nice mm -hmm. nice yeah it's a bit dry in there if you know what i mean Dry, dry air. Yeah, that's right. Jackson with the drum rolls. Butter, butter, butter. Oh, I could actually get my drum out. Oh, do you know that I have a drum? A, dr a drum, really? Oh, do you, want, well. do you want me to? Should I grab it? Well, now, now, is this a ceremonial drum? It is. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, where did you get that? Did you? Did I you got make it. it at a workshop? So I got it. Do you remember Sean from the Breathwork Blueprint? You went to Enderby. You went to the sweat lodge at Enderby with uh, those nice folks and made the made the drum. Did you take well, the workshop? I didn't myself, but Sean did. And so recently, Sean, like what he did is he he recently got a new drum from the place, the addiction center that he went to to get help. And they gave him a brand new, beautiful drum. And he, uh -huh. and he went to Enderby and he made he made a beautiful buffalo hide drum. And like from the elders in Enderby, and I'm sick. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and yeah. he he was selling his old one, so I so I ended oh. up buying it off of him. Oh, oh, okay, that's that's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I must say, uh, I I'm I'm a little sad, Sean. That he he told me he was going to introduce me to the folks and help me get the drum going, and <laughs> he forgot. Ah. <laughs> uh. I was I all get... excited when I was living in Enderby. I was all looking forward to that. But no, that's on me. That's on me for not following up with them. But uh, that's where I hope to get my drum is um, do, do the, a workshop with those elders there. Mm. Yeah. 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 So I, I know I could, pro I think I know someone who also was wanting to go down that route. So I could maybe, I could probably get the contact info for you, actually. That's a, I can just reach out to Sean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Once I get over my my hurt feelings, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, what were we just talking about? Uh, drums, some, some drums. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I had this idea. Um, 
uh, that we'd all at the next uh, uh, immersion. Oh, look, we're in the doors now. Um, the next immersion, we, we should uh, uh, the, everyone pair off into twos or threes or fours. Would you keep it down? Um, uh, uh, and we can do uh, make up bands. And um, we'll do like, a, I thought of these three band names, the Vagal Tones, Don, uh, Donnie and the Diaphragms and uh, Air Hunger. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you want to play the drums, um, we can uh, maybe. I know Hawks and Hawks and Mark kind of have a thing going with their acoustic rap, yep. but uh, we'll just see if we can make a like do a little concert at the last day of our yeah. retreat, and when make songs about breath. Oh, yeah, that sounds beautiful. I yeah. love that. Yeah, so start thinking of some. Uh, look at these dowels, man. These are beauties. Look at those. Wow. What a dowel. Wow. These are big pencils. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Chopsticks. It'd be fun to try and eat um, like a swimming pool full of ramen with these as chopsticks. Hey? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a swimming pool? Just... Are you talking about like a full size, like in ground yeah. swimming pool? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That would take or, a few weeks. Well, I mean, you got to make it proportional to those sticks, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds so. like a YouTube video you'd see from like one of those my generation YouTubers. What's my, oh yeah, from your generation? Yeah, yeah. Or Watch a Japanese, it. a Japanese game show would probably do it too. Yeah, either one. Either one is is. Watch me eat an entire pool full of ramen with with these giant chopsticks. Yeah. Godzilla, <laughs> <laughs> a spicy ramen edition. Yeah, yeah, just dumping buckets of chilies in there. Be great, man. <laughs> Throw a whole pig in there, like a live pig. <laughs> yeah. Now look at this. Is this like anti-bullying, um, sort of a woke rebar? Look at this woke rebar. Wow. Yeah. Woke rebar. It's pink. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's for the uh the the, the sensitive construction guy hey woke rebar eh he's an old salty salty fellow huh? uh -huh. i don't think he likes woke rebar he, he, no he no he doesn't like that rebar <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> he likes real rebar now what else we got jackson what else what else you need hey what else yeah. i need hmm <laughs> See, so see, see if you can find some good like mouth tape. I feel like Home mouth Depot tape. would have some good mouth tape, you know? You know, one time I used some electrical tape for mouth tape one night. Really? Yeah. And you know, if I've gotten so hooked on tape in my mouth, I will use anything. Me too. Yeah. Like I if I don't have it when I go to sleep, so like I ooh, I the two things that I need when I go to sleep is I wear an eye mask when I sleep. And then yeah. I also, and then I also have my my mouth tape. Those two things. If I have that for a, a sleep, it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get an eye mask. I, like you know, it's it's too much work trying to block out all the windows and street light, and there's so much light everywhere. You know. Yeah. So apparently, do, do do you think that you know even if you get to sleep with lights on do you think that the human body goes into a deeper sleep if there's more dark you know the thing i find is i find i wake up less at night with my eye mask really that's yeah. that's my thing because i find one... like when i wake up in the night like even if it's just for a little bit it's still dark for me so it, my body's like oh I'm, I'm still sleeping but if i look up and there's light and there's light everywhere i feel yeah. like I'm just like more likely to get out of bed. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I got to get one of those eye masks. I guess I could make one. All right. You could use some of that blue fabric. This wood smells good. Is it ooh, oh, cedar? It smells like coffee. Coffee. Is, oh, that, a new, is that a new strain? Like, like caramel coffee. Mm. Oh, love it! Mm. Beautiful, yeah, man, yeah. 
Hmm. Where do you think they grow that type of wood? Caramel coffee uh, wood. Caramel toffee wood, uh, probably Honduras or uh, the Mount Madagascar. Hmm. Right now we got the uh, we've got the, uh, the 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 insulation. Right mm. now, if I, if 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 only whoever built the damn condo that I used to live in had to just put some of that in the floors and walls, maybe it wouldn't have driven me so mental listening to the kids downstairs jumping and banging and screaming all the time. Anyways, something um, blundered. Yeah, it's this. It's you know, I'm 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 I've got to share. I'm recovering right now from a major financial loss, and when I say recovering. I, I, I don't mean that I'm in, I'm in a, like, I don't have any money, but I lost a lot, Jackson. I lost a lot on the real estate market because the real estate market, real estate in general, real estate agents, I'm sorry if you have a friend or a relative that's a real estate agent. It's a dirty, shady, greasy, unfair business, hmm. right? Like, one day everyone's bidding on it on a, on a property and it's it, what it what is a condo is it a piece of land no it's just empty space in the air with a shit box around it no not even any insulation no just a frame of shitty wood and trim that's just a bunch of weetabix and a shitty paint job and a bunch of appliances that are made out of plastic that's cheaper than a pot bottle. And you're paying half a million dollars for, for this like cube hovering in space with some pipes going down to this to the sewage system and some wires going to the electrical system. Half a million for a shit box in the sky. Keep it down, Christ. <laughs> Now, I made the dumbass move of um, using my heart. And, you know, that's not a dumbass move to use your heart. But when the heart and the mind aren't in alignment, in coherence, and eros and ego aren't in, in good cooperation, um, uh, one can make an imbalanced decision. And I made a decision all from the heart, and it cost me a lot of money. Now, I did this because I was terrified for uh i i i should pre oh peter you muted you're still muted right now peter oh i can't hear you can i unmute you don't think i can there you go Okay. Okay. Anyways, long story short, um, I, I bought a condo, uh, uh, because I was afraid of someone in my life, um, being in danger. And so I bought them a condo, <laughs> but like with all the money that I had, because I was scared. Uh, and, um, it turns out that I bought at the peak of the market right before the the market started to crash and so like it's just my luck right that that whenever i do make business decisions financial decisions i i have always you know like vehicles i buy a vehicle and then i find out there's a bunch wrong with it i try and sell it and i only get half of what i paid it if i'm lucky so it's the same thing with real estate but what I've learned from dealing with real estate agents is they, you know, they say, oh, yeah, it's confidential. Me and the other agent talked. It's all good. Then they phone you and go, yeah, turns out this and that. It's just, but why am I talking about real estate, Jackson? Oh, yeah, that's what's been on my mind lately. And um, I, uh, I had the, uh, boy, I'm really swerving right now, but uh, I'll try and bring it back. Uh, I went to a kinesiologist yesterday. And this is one that our teacher um, referred us me to, and um, he does breath work as well in Victoria, this guy. Um, and awesome dude. He is so knowledgeable. Tai Chi, Qigong, breath work, 
kinesiology, professional, bright eyed, wonderful soul. And um, so yesterday I went for my first kinesiology appointment. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Have you, have you ever no. done kinesiology? Okay. Well, from what I gather, it's it's basically like based on the word kinetic, right? So movement. Um, but what this guy did is he focused more on the mental, the somatic part of um, body issues and associating pain with um, like, oh, I've got an injury. It hurts. Okay. But also, and is there an emotion there that's um, keeping the pain alive, you know? So it, it is some of the pain that we experience uh, due to emotions that are stuck in us. And I came into this appointment right after finding out that, you know, the people that offered made an offer on my condo had a building inspector come in and then found out the other condo that's above floor above mine was just sold for 20,000 less than they offered me. <laughs> and they like the fuck that. <laughs> so this is right after I found out that my low offer got even lower and, uh, and I'm telling all the kinesiologists, all this stuff. And we were able in that moment to track the, pain I was feeling and frustration at myself for always making the wrong choices with business and finance, we were able to find where it was in the body and do some, some meditation and breathing. And, and, and I was able to get some peace in, in losing, make, making that big of a mistake and, you know, finding out that, that it's, I believe coming from a part in my body, you know, making these mistakes over and over again um, and feeling that frustration in myself, I'm starting to become aware of it actually being a, a physical location inside that I can go in and start to open up and release and get the fuck out of here. It's, you know, it's like, it's not paying rent. It's costing me money. <laughs> Get out of here. Right. So that's, uh, I don't know. That was a wild story, but uh, yeah, that's, that's been my latest uh, what's been going on in my life lately, other than delivering this crazy bed on Facebook marketplace. Have you ever had a crazy Facebook marketplace experience? You know, mine have been pretty mellow actually. Really? I don't think I've bought enough stuff on Facebook marketplace though. Uh, we you sold your microphone. No, I I didn't get that on Marketplace. That was an Amazon. What? Oh, that's yeah. a oh, okay. Uh. All yeah, right. I got I got oh. this chair on Marketplace though. Well, actually, that's 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 what I meant. The Marketplace, yeah, yeah. the chair. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Yeah. It my my dad happened to buy something from this lady, and she also had a chair, and she's like, "I'll sell it uh. for fifty bucks," and she's like, "I'll tell my son." So, I got yeah. it for fifty bucks. Yeah, you look like an airplane pilot. <laughs> yeah. Hello, passengers. We are now going to go back down into gear one. Everybody yeah. start breathing yeah. through your nose. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for yeah. Landing. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the new Top Gun? I have. I yeah. like that movie. It was fun. Mm -hmm. But but you know what? Um, of course, now that we're uh, breathing experts, um. I really noticed when in a movie they don't um, do uh, pay any homage to the breath. Like, well, from my understanding, fighter pilots, when they were doing crazy Tom Cruise moves, they'd have to do some kind of like, <laughs> like breathing thing, right? When they're going spinning and G force straight up after they've taken out the rogue country's missile, <laughs> like the rogue country's nuclear plant. Like, what rogue country? Do you want to tell us what country? You're the rogue one. Like, oh, rogue one? You mean Star Wars? Might as well. <laughs> Star Wars. Anyways, yeah, I thought they were supposed to do a breathing thing, those pilots. But speaking of movies and breathing, uh, I, I I loved um, Avatar 2. Did you see Avatar 2? I, saw, I watched that in Peru at the center. 
Wow. Uh, on ayahuasca. <laughs> that was just we were not, just in not, the not quite not quite then. Not quite in ceremony. Watched yeah. it right before. But, oh yeah. man, I like that movie too. I like I it's funny, I watched Avatar One on the way to Peru and I started to watch the second one also on the flight. And then at the center I watched it. I I finished the whole thing. Jeez. Holy smokes. Um so and did you know you know the breath, the part in the where uh, the movie where they make a really beautiful nod tip of the hat to the to breath or right at the end when they're underwater and they're trapped and they're oh, running out of oh yes and then yes. she comes and just says just be calm and they just and they're they but they they focused on the breath and fi- and surrendering to it and then they they get they spoiler alert right mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's beautiful that was that was a really nice movie. That was yeah. that was a nice part about the breath too. That was like the whole movie. It's they really like bring it down, like they really bring you down. Mm-hmm. It was kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it? Uh, what, what's the tree's name? Uh, oh. uh, Ewa. Ewa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ewa. Nice. Yeah. Well, um, I should probably get going. That's been an hour, has it? Yep. All right. Nice chatting with you, Peter. You too, nice man. Your brain. Thank you for the Home Depot tour. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, th- so thank you for being patient and accepting my uh, flake out today. That's okay. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk soon, brother. Well, we will talk soon, brother. Yeah, and uh, that book, uh, the, the story, the Buddhist story, uh, was called "Peacock in the Poison Grove." Okay. It's an old, some old Buddhist stories. I'm just telling all our our big following here uh, that the what, uh, part of the peacock pranayama sign out. Um, the peacock finds all the negative situations like poisonous plants and uses those to make its life more beautiful yes right yeah yeah Yeah. find beauty in the dark find beauty in the dark let it be let it flow release it sit with it do what you gotta do Mm -hmm. find the beauty within keep on going Yeah. yeah awesome well thank you peter and have a great night. And until next time. Well, let's think of what should we call this? Should we call this um Peacock Pranayama Episode 3 Home Depot Edition? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Well, sure. But but they might flag us and say we got to pay Home Depot, but we're not that big yet. So we can no. get away with it. We can, get, yeah. we can get, if we, if we yeah. need, we can change the, t- the title to The Maze of Lights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could just call this one the, the Hardware Edition. Yes. Hardware edition. Hardware edition. Yeah. I like or, that. Or live from Home Depot. Fuck, fuck it. Let's do that. <laughs> and one, one more thing I got to say. Big ups to uh, yeah, the Hawks, man. Uh, I was spent half the day uh, researching uh, water structuring uh, devices. And uh, I, I almost uh, shelled out uh, $379 plus tax and with all that for uh, a bottle with marbles in it. Right. And I I know it's like it takes time and effort to get all this shit together. But I did some research and I found that you can make your own water structuring device, um, which makes water similar to a fresh mountain stream, you know, uh, and magnetizes and all that stuff, creates a charge, alkalizes, uh, makes it more available. You can get these things called neodilamide magnets. And you just the magnet balls, they're three dollars each for these magnet balls. And you just put a bunch of those in a in a uh like a glass or a ceramic, a natural, not a plastic bottle, and pour the water into the, over the over the marbles and it, it swirls and creates a charge. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna make my own uh so I just wanted to th- uh, say big ups, shout outs to our homeboy Ian Hawks. Yeah, Hawks man workly. And, uh, you know, if you've lost as many marbles as I have, you better start structuring your water. Ding dong. Oh, what's that?
magnetic balls, honey. I'm going to start pouring my water through it. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of which, I better get uh, home before uh, the sweet thing gets too pissed off here. Okay. I'm just disappointed. I'm 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 late for everyone today, Jackson. (laughs) Well, you're making your way. Okay. Pico Pranayama, Home Depot, signing out. Signing out. (laughs) All right. Good night. Yeah. Well, what you're looking at.